message at 12.30. Uh, Nina's been swimming for six and a half hours. Uh, the water temperature is 25 degrees. Um, there's a bit of a swell about 0.5 meters. The wind is 125 degrees, so south southeast wind. Um, our direction of travel is east at the moment, uh, coordinates 0.80 roughly. Um, current is negligible. Wind speed is about 10 knots. Uh, it's a clear sky, lots of cloud, lots of stars and uh, uh, about a three quarter moonlight. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning, that's um, seven hours since race start and we're doing a current check so we've turned up the engine and um, we have very little to negligible movement and you can see 0 0.1, 0 0.2 um, in stationary So one o'clock and that's the moon um, and beautiful stars that can't really be seen. Um, the distance at one o'clock was 21 kilometers. This would appear that there's been very little progress in the last hour. However, um, the previous feed was at 34 minutes since the 28th. So this um, hour was a short hour, if you like, of just um, 55 minutes and also um, we as the leading boat um, have created a bit of a distance between Neil so we have switched off the engines and not moved much in the last um, 15 to 20 minutes whilst Neil catches up and therefore that's why it would appear that there's been very little progress in the last half hour. So it's 2 a.m. There's a bit of a breeze picking up, which is why it's not going to three. So eight knots there, nine knots. I'm going up to point five. Our wind speed is coming from the north now. And This is Angie Rogers, it's 20 past 4. Oh wow, Dampuka fish. Um, we found a floating object in the water, wooden, <laughs> which is broom. Um, and we've stopped our engines, is that correct? Well, Captain it's David. Matching its speed and matching its speed works out to one knot. Now, now that's not the Okay, zero, three, zero. Zero, setting three, zero, three, zero, which is going north, northeast. Okay. Which means we've got a northerly set, but it's at least it's an easterly component. So, hi, this is an update, Angie Rogers. I've um, given my watch to John, but it's the uh, Wednesday at 6 a.m. now. She's been swimming for a full day and 12 hours. Uh, you can see land, that was sunrise, that's David, Captain David, my love. Um, and that's the river there with Nia swimming. Ugh. We can see land, we can see probably Gozo. Um, and um, hope at this stage that he will finish the race predicted finish time within 12 to 24 hours
What's that behind your bench? It's our champ. What's he um, doing? What's he doing? I, I would call him a little bit, nothing less than a miracle. Um, we've been, I think, 40, 46 hours, um, and Neil has done two sunsets, two sunrises. It's coming to the end of the third day that he's been in the water. And his arms are heavy, his shoulders are swollen. Um, we went through patches of um, disorientation this morning and this afternoon. We've now had to literally lean over the side of the rib um, just to make just to make eye contact with him to keep him going. Um, we've got something like 19 kilometers left. We break it down into five hours. 10 feet, stops every 28 and a half minutes to drink, eat some food, give him painkillers, some some sports gels, um, and he's going to do it. There he is. And Laura's cheering him on. We're all we're all fresh, tired, um, excited, emotional, and that's it. This is Angie Rogers reporting on um, day three of the swim at 12 o'clock noon. So we've been swimming for 48 plus. Well, I'll have to check on that. I'm a bit tired. Um, temperature outside is 32 degrees. Um, News doing well. It's, um, He's keen to finish the race, he's looking strong, he's swimming really fast. I've just swam with him for about, um, about an hour and a half, covered a distance of about 4 or 5k. Um, it feels like there's probably current against us, um, because the speed at which I felt I was going was quite fast, but the distance travelled and equated that. Um, last few hours, and hopefully, we get him to go. Hey, uh, brother, let's go. We're heading there. Go to inside. Go, go, Neil, let's go to Schlendi. Another video from Angie Rogers. Um, at 1840, so 48 hours and 40 minutes. Um, we can see Goza. Woo! I'm just going to pull out. Um, we've set a target. I think I showed you that already. In Jar. Oh, Schlendi. Um, currently, there is current that is a cross current pushing us towards water so um, that's kind of affecting him a little bit slowing him down a bit and um, we're hoping it's about three hours to, to the finish line here we are this guy has been swimming now for 48 hours and, and a half that's two full days two full nights Last 
few kilometers left, around 10 kilometers, and he'll be on land.